Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Wayne Morris from WHHI TV. And I'm your host, Carrie Manning with the Village Spa. Today we are here at Spring Island, which is an amazing place. And as unique as this island is, so is our show today. A little different. We're setting up a little different. We only have two guests, and our first guest is Miss Tammy Randolph. She is the director of the Wellness and Fitness Center here, which Center doesn't really do it justice. She has a lot under her umbrella. <laughs> she wears many, many hats, and she's here to talk about all of the amazing amenities and all of the features that it has, and it covers the gamut. It does, and our second guest is John Strother. He's the broker in charge here at Spring Island, really, and he's going to talk to us about some very, very impressive lots and home sites that will blow you away, I assure you, and also he's going to talk to us about some cool hunting amenities that they have here. So Tammy's going to talk about the more athletic amenities and John's going to talk about some of the outdoor stuff. So it's a great show. Stay with us. We'll be back with 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak. Where Spring Island comes to speak. Where the town of Hilton Head Island comes to speak. Where Port Royal comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We're here this morning with Miss Tammy Randolph. She is the Director of Recreation and Wellness. How are you this morning? I'm well, thank you. And you. So obviously we are sitting in another beautiful facility located here on Spring Island. Tell everybody about the structure of your programming and why it's so popular here. It's wow. beautiful for beginners. <laughs> the beginner. It absolutely is. That's um, definitely one of the most the best reasons for its popularity. Um, we actually have a very diverse group of folks here on Spring Island um, and their needs for exercise are equally as diverse, very active. So what we do is we try to make certain that we get all of the exercise recommendations in our programming um, uh, as far as um, cardiovascular training, muscular strength training, and flexibility training. So we do that through our class um, curriculum, which offers about 30 classes per week. Oh, wow. We also have individual instruction available as well. We see um, upwards to 200 clients per month. Um, actually, I take that back. We probably see about 200 clients every two weeks for wow. individuals. So individual training is very important here as well. And then really the vast majority of our visitors use the center on their own. So we may actually um, just develop programming for them and they want to carry on and, and work with themselves. So well, it's a beautiful facility. You it can is. absolutely see why it would have a draw. <laughs> Thank Isn't you. Isn't it great? Wow, 200 uh, visits every two weeks. That's incredible. There are only 400 members here. And uh, do you actually give a fitness evaluation to every new member coming in here? Well, it's not a requirement, um, uh -huh. but we do encourage everybody to undergo a fitness evaluation because um, that allows us to know much more about that client and then we can tailor their exercise needs around that. So I've, I most likely have um, performed a fitness evaluation on, I would say at this point, 75% of our residents. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. That's such a great perk to being a member, to have somebody that's looking after your health and willing to help you and train you individually. I mean, that's incredible, incredible benefit to living here and being a member. Absolutely. Um, so if I was living here and I, and I came in for the evaluation, what's that made up of? What are some of the components of the evaluation? Sure, well, the first thing we wanna know is your health history. Okay. It's very significant to us being able to tailor a program that is gonna best benefit you. Um, then we break it down from that health history, including medications, um, any previous injury or illness, or chronic medical conditions that you may or may not have. Then we'll look at postural deviation um, and also muscular weakness. And from that point forward, if there are any deviations to um, one's posture, it is certainly going to transfer and can cause additional um, decline in your um, gait movement patterns that um, performance of course on the golf course so <laughs> then um, we is always a significant definitely reason. significant here <laughs> so we that's what we look at in the evaluation yeah it's so important to longevity and long-term health to to fix these problems and, and start these good habits immediately you Absolutely. know as soon as you can because we were talking earlier you know once you retire or you have some more time in your life your kids move out of the house you have more time to focus on fitness and health and that's really a key time to do it 
because you're, you're starting to encounter some health issues at that point, possibly. That's very true, but I will say this. I just gave a, a small lecture to a group of, a closed group of ladies earlier this week, and I brought to them the point that what you do in your 40s and 50s really um, has the most influence into what happens whenever you become the age of our residents Absolutely. here. Absolutely. That's great. You got to start mm -hmm. soon. You do indeed. Right? <laughs> you do indeed. <laughs> So I've heard from other members, we were talking right before we started, that you focus not only on the body, but also on the mind. I think that's a huge you know, shift in the paradigm, so to speak, universally right now, because I think people are really understanding the difference between that. But explain that a little bit and tell everybody why that's so important. Um, yes, it is. And actually, we're focusing more on that, um, not only as um, a science and exercise science, but also here. Um, in our center, and that is because um, cognitive decline is something that none of us are immune to. We can all expect to some degree, and really um, exercise science right now is looking at ways that we can either um, decrease the presentation of that or certainly slow the presentation of that or the progression of that. So what we are doing here in the center specifically is um, working on exercises that work um, contralaterally. So um, it is great for rotational stability, but it's also great for coordination in the coordination center of the brain. We also will do, um, what I use as an example, is um, I, I will introduce footwork drills. So using an, an agility ladder, which is something that you see oftentimes with young athletes, mm -hmm. I just introduce it to my older athletes here. And whenever you can um, stimulate the brain by giving a footwork pattern where they have to, to move through and, um, and process it mentally prior to performing it or as, um, concurrently with performing it, um, physically, you can see a direct increase in the respiratory rate, heart rate, um, performance on both aspects. So um, a little frustration develops sometimes, but it is... It is <laughs> well, because a lot of times it's probably something that they've never tried before. Very much so. Yes. I was going to ask, how um, ahead of the curve is this? I mean, is this, has this been going on for a while in your industry or is this relatively new? practices? Um, I don't necessarily think that it's relatively new. Actually, there are different forms of it. Um, integrating music into an activity, performing an upper and a lower body together, um, counting in a foreign language. There are many different ways to approach it. But I will say that there is a big push in the field of exercise science just because we're seeing such uh, um, an increase in presentation of dementia or Alzheimer's um, and those kind of conditions. And so you know, I think that that just because we are seeing additional um, cases of this, there we're really looking at it in the science field, trying to um, control that. Yeah, as it best sounds we like can. a very um, valuable and important program to have here. It's a well, great I think sure. it's about that's kind of my soapbox. So I'll save you all that, but I think <laughs> it's about time that Western medicine catches up with that. Mm -hmm. It's I not think. a new theory. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. And the research is great. Exactly. Yeah. So this is more than just a place to come and work out. This is a place to enrich. Um, well, Y'all have yoga and I mean, just all, you know, the whole person, the whole spirit. Absolutely. And that's exactly going back to, um, you know, how we design our programming. It really is in involving the entire whole wellness of, of, of a resident. We do that through our educational sessions as well, plus our massage therapy program um, and our exercise program. So. A healthy well, mind, body, and spirit is you, very important. You've I think there's it. more we need to cover with you, so <laughs> stay right here. <laughs> and, and you stay right here. We'll be right back with more 843 TV. Welcome back to 843 TV. We are still joined by Miss Tammy Randolph. Uh, she had so much to share with us, we had to make her stay for a second segment. Um, and because you have so much going on, one thing I know that's important in any organization or business is staffing and employees. So with everything that you have going on, how do you find time to find the right staff? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's interesting that you say that because I'm really passionate about that. I think that you know we have been, been so successful because of the team of folks that I have who, sur who surround me. Um, I'm very particular about the folks who work here in our center. They need to have the appropriate qualifications. My personal trainers are all educated professionals. You don't find that a lot in the industry, and I certainly encourage anybody who's looking for a professional to make certain that they're um, educated with a um, 
background in exercise science or right. related field. Um, uh, they are certified, my professionals are certified through the American College of Sports Medicine, um, which is the gold standard in the industry, or the National Strength and Conditioning Association, again, another top um, certifying body. So um, from there, my group instructors, I make certain that they're all um, hold high credentials as well. And then they are also um, interviewed by our, our residents. I bring a team in if I want to try out a new instructor after I've interviewed them and sat with them in process, then we put them in front of our folks and that's the true test mm -hmm. to see if they can entertain and um, enlighten, motivate, and inspire our residents. So. Wow, so mm -hmm. this is kind of, you have to go through the gauntlet to, to work here. It sounds <laughs> Absolutely, <like>. <laughs> but it's well worth it. We have a great yeah, group of residents. Uh, indeed, and they love it. They love the team that who are here every day to inspire them. Yeah, so. and just walking through here and here today, I mean, everybody was friendly and seemed to know exactly what to do and when to do it, so you've done a good job staffing this place. Well, I love my people, so. <laughs> yeah. The, um, could you tell, I, I understand you just got certified in TPI and that you work a lot with uh, Bill Sampson and what goes into that certification and why is that important to uh, the guys here and the, and the women here and golfers here? Oh, sure. Well, this is, um, while they, it's not necessarily a golf community, it's a community full of many golfers. And so performance is very important to them. Um, much of my resume was built working with young athletes and now I like to say I work with a lot of older athletes <laughs> and they're fantastic so working with performance is great. TPI is actually a program through, the ti um, through Titleist. It's the T Titleist Performance Institute and they have put together a great model where they combined the fitness professional, the golf professional, and the medical professional together to make certain that we hit all areas for our, for our golfers. Um, so I did sit through my level one certification. Um, even prior to that, I worked very closely with Bill Sampson, our golf pro, and we, um, do such a great job working with our athletes here, being able to, oftentimes we'll stand together on the driving range even and assess a golfer's swing through um, me from biomechanics and he through um, golf instruction, of course. And then we will certainly look at whatever weaknesses he finds and what I will find and we can put together a strength training program that will help benefit what he's trying to accomplish out there on the golf course with his athlete. So it's, um, it's really... I think that's another game changer too. You know, not that I'm a huge golf buff, but I'm married to one. <laughs> and you know, the whole dynamic of that has changed. Oh, People yeah. are really Tiger understand. changed all that. He changed it, the game mm -hmm. in so many ways, but that's really important because you know, years ago you'd hear retirees saying, oh, I'm too, getting too old to play golf. And I always laugh, my husband's never gonna be too old mm -hmm. to play golf. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> but his workout is, around golf. Yeah. Very true. Flexibility and mechanics. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. It's true and it goes back to that original assessment that we were speaking of that whenever you have certain deviations to the body whether it's through um, muscular weakness or a postural change then my golf pro will redesign the swing but then I come in and I either will do something to enhance the changes that he's made or we can try to correct something that is there if it is indeed something that can be easily corrected. If it's a structural thing, then he's going to work around that and I'll just stabilize the, the client or the golfer. Well, speaking of change. tying everything together, you wear many hats. <laughs> 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 and being here on Spring Island, if anybody's seen any of the previous episodes, they run the gamut. So tell everybody just kind of graze over all of the opportunities that you have under your umbrella here at the Fitness and the Wellness Center. Absolutely, it is a big umbrella. So not only do we have this beautiful fitness facility and management of that and all of the classes, of course, but we offer massage therapy services here, um, not necessarily for the spy aspects, but more for performance aspect right. and wellness as well. Um, we also have a lovely croquet facility, which um, we do have a growing croquet program here as well. Um, we manage all of the kayaks and the bikes, so any of the outdoor recreation comes through us. We have a 12-month, um, it's actually a 12-month facility, our lap pool. It is heated and cooled 12 months a year, so we keep it at a constant 83 to 84 degrees. 
and we really encourage folks to use that for therapeutic reasons as well as for their exercise benefit. Um, we have the family pool, which is more seasonal. We try to keep it open as long as we can, but in these chilly months, we don't Certainly get a lot of Certainly not open today. <laughs> Certainly not open today, no, no. Um, and so there, there are a lot of things going on over here, and typically if it doesn't fall under our umbrella, we will find a way to make it happen for somebody anyway. We're well, you are certainly a wealth of information. <laughs> Thank um, you. So make sure that if you have any questions about Spring Island amenities, just go to their website. And I'm sure there's a full introduction to not only you, but your employees, your trainers, your staff, and all the amenity, amenities that are available here, correct? That is correct. If they can't find the information on there, they can definitely find my um, contact information or my assistant's contact information, and we can get that information out to whomever needs it and whatever they need. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. And make sure that you come right back for more 843 TV. Welcome back to 843 TV from Spring Island and now we're it's time for probably my favorite segment of all the Spring Island shows when we get to look at some really cool real estate that Spring Island offers and um, you know there's no better real estate in the Lowcountry uh, for my opinion. There you go. Um, so you've got two properties, one's a home and one's a lot. Let's start with the lot which is on 39 Goose Pond Road. Tell us about that. Okay, that um, that's really one of my favorite pieces of property here. It's like being trans ported into a, into a, a different world. Uh, I was down there the other day with Jerry Coward, he's an architect in Savannah. Uh, we were looking at it for a couple that had looked at it last week. And it's a long three and a half acre lot. Um, you kind of go down this narrow road and all of a sudden it opens up into a pond on your right that has palmetto trees and live oaks coming uh -huh. out over it. It's, it goes all the way to a dike in the Carlton River. And then the home site itself is ringed by live oaks and palmettos and the Carlton River. And it's just a fairy tale world. You know, to build a house in there that's open up, um, just fully exposed to nature, it's almost like being in Jurassic Park or something. I mean, it's that. This entire island, honestly, is fairy tale. Yeah, isn't it? To me, every lot is beautiful. And they're all yeah, different too. Yeah, they're yes. all unique. Big That's what I love different. about it. So what kind of house would you put on a lot like that? Oh, um, well, elevated a little bit, um, kind of like a single width type of house with windows everywhere because there's so much privacy, the near, you can't see the nearest house. Um, so you'd just be open, it'd be like a tree have house. a beautiful mm -hmm. view no matter what. Limit. And it's facing southeast, so you're going to get the sun coming up in the mornings, and in the wintertime you'll get the warm sun coming in and the sunset, and so that's a bright, cheery house. And in the summertime you're going to have the sun come up, you'll get it in the mornings, and then you have shade and the cool breezes in the evenings. Nice. And the Carlton out there is just, yeah, it's a gorgeous Sounds relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. I feel like taking a nap right now. <laughs> and you've been telling us about this house at One Cop Landing, and it's just, from an architectural standpoint, it's absolutely stunning. So tell us about the home. Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, that was designed by Frederick and Frederick, and they're an architectural firm in, in uh, Buford. Okay. And um, they were over here the other week uh, talking to us and showing us some of their homes. And uh, they're really unique in the sense that they're a husband and wife team, and they start talking to you, and then they'll, they design the home really 100% specifically to your They desires. have amazing homes. I've looked through a lot of their stuff on Howes, and they are yeah. I love their design. And having a builder like that with a husband and wife team, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Because she's going to think about what the wife's going to want, and he's going to uh -huh. think about what the husband's going to yeah. want. And, uh, and they're just amazing. And um, so this house won, uh, won an award, uh, uh, I think about five or six years ago, South Carolina Award uh, for Excellence. And it's very similar to what I was talking about that would be on the Goose Pond okay. lot. Um, this is a modern house. You come down a wide, um, you know, you come down long drive. Uh, there's a courtyard, a brick courtyard, uh, garage, dog washing station, exercise room there, four bedroom guest house, two bedrooms, um, little uh, living room, screen in porch. And then the main house is only one house wide or one room wide, uh, two offices to either side, great kitchen. Um, dining room, living room, fireplaces everywhere, uh, little living um, family room with tall ceilings. And what they've done is they've, um, 
made a lot of volume real cozy. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't forget the amazing master bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> so you go upstairs, and really, you have this bat. You have this master bedroom with a fireplace. And you're looking out over the Carlton River, and there's a dock to this house also, so you can have your own boat out there. And then you walk in um, to this bathroom that's got these marble tiles, radiant heat floors, and that opens up totally to a sleeping porch and the Carlton River. You could live in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> it's amazing. It's just off the charts. And um, so it's just a really classy home, unusual. Um, like you said it all, it's a low country, modern home. It's very contemporary, low country. Yeah. And it has all the perks of being in the low country, I think, where it feels nice and comfy. It doesn't. Sometimes people get turned off by contemporary quotes mm -hmm. because they feel like it's cold and uninviting. Yeah. But I will, in my personal opinion, these architects and designers have a perfect meld of that clean contemporary look and that kind of rustic charm of the low country. But this house is amazing and I've not even seen the lot. I can't imagine what the lot looks like, but how, that house is beautiful. It's incredible. It really That's is. an advantage to having a local architect. They know the. Yeah. the area they mm -hmm. know what works and yeah. what what's functional yeah and every home here at spring island starts with an architect yeah. and uh so every home's different because every right. every environment every person's different that's right yeah well as if we are haven't sold it already <laughs> <laughs> tying in with our previous segments we've talked about all of the things that fell under the umbrella of the fitness and the wellness center but you guys want to highlight two more really fun outdoor activities you have a clay range mm -hmm. and tell everybody about the Red Bluff Plantation because that sounds very entertaining. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, we're all about activities and the outside. We're called a sporting, sporting community. And uh, we have a, a sporting range, clay range, um, that's just amazing. We have a five station uh, range and a 10 station. It's all set in a natural environment with uh, solar powered, you know, so it's real um, environmentally sensitive. It's natural, it's to emulate the quail hunting environment that you would be in, so tall grasses and pine trees around. And on Fridays, uh, the ladies go there at 10 every Friday and they shoot and there's a fire going there and the guys are, you know, um, Mike Perry and his assistant are there helping them out. And uh, then at 12, uh, the men come and they shoot. I'd much rather shoot ski than play bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sounds yeah. like a lot more fun. I know, it's a lot of fun. And that's a growing sport now. And really, a lot of people um, come here because of that particular, um, particular environment. Now, Red Bluff and Plantation kind of got it up there, too. That sounds that's amazing. Uh, it's a 6,000-acre hunting preserve. We used to be a hunting community here, but there are too many houses, 260 houses, so we can't hunt here anymore. Uh, so we uh, go to Red Bluff Plantation. We lease that, and um, they 6,000 acres, quail hunting, and they have, um, uh, have two-man hunts and four-man hunts. And the four-man hunts are really neat because they have these mules pulling these wagons wow. and guys on horseback. and you know, the dogs are in the wagon and you're just going out. I mean, it's just like it's another world. stepping back 150 so cool. years. It really is. Yeah. It's another world. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we've ran out of time because we could sit and talk about this forever. Mm -hmm. But thank you for being with us again. For more information about the amazing real estate and features here at Spring Island, please visit their website. And make sure that you join us next time for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.